Hi, it's the Math Sorcerer here. In this video, I'm going to be answering an email that I received from one of the viewers. His name is Nicolas, and let's go ahead and read his message. The subject is, do you have any advice for an aspiring honor student who isn't great at math? Dear Math Sorcerer, super sorry for the bother. <laughs> no bother. I just don't know who to ask this question. I don't know any math majors and you seem really smart and able to give good advice. I am a computer science undergrad from Iowa, and I really, really love math, but I never got very good at it in high school. I have to take college algebra this upcoming semester, that's an awesome class, and will need to eventually work my way through Calc 1 to 3 and linear algebra according to my advisor. Sounds like a lot of fun, that's what that sounds like. I really want to get my cumulative GPA up to 3.5, and so you shall, Nicolas, but I have always been bad at math, and I do not know how to get better fast enough and to get great grades in my class. Yeah, that's the key, right? Because in class, you have a time constraint, so you have to somehow meet that constraint to satisfy it by learning everything before the test and rocking the test, and that is the challenge. That is part of the challenge. I bought a few algebra pre-calc textbooks and have been self-studying. It's a good start. But there are parts that I do not understand and can't for the life of me figure out between the three books. <laughs> been there. That's what's tough. I do not work much and I'm able and willing to put in 40 hours a week into my studies. But I do not know how to effectively apply the time in order to be most effective and not waste the time. Right. So it sounds like you need a structured plan. Do you have any suggestions? I really, really want to get a GPA higher than 3.5 this semester, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes, short of selling my soul. Thank you. Sorry again if this is not the right place for this question. Nicolas. Oh, thank you, Nicolas, for your question. So it sounds like you're already in college, or maybe you're going to be starting to take math in college. That's I'm going to assume that you haven't taken math in college yet. So you've got the books. You've got the motivation, you're self-studying, you're hitting roadblocks, which is something that I think is always going to happen with math, right? You're always gonna hit those roadblocks. So the trick is, how do you overcome them? Well, in your specific situation, um, I would recommend um, picking up a course, right? I have um, Udemy courses, and I think the one on college algebra can actually help you. I usually don't I don't try to like pump my courses too much. I, they're, in the, they're in the description. So if you go in the description of this video, just click on the college algebra one, and it's pretty good. It, it, I think it's one of my better courses because it's so comprehensive and it has so many videos. And the big thing about the course is that it's organized. That, that's the key difference, right? Because you can go on YouTube and you can search for videos and you can find anything you want, but when you want something that is structured and organized, if you follow you know, the videos in that course in order, I think it will help you. Um, the, the course roughly follows uh, the book by Blitzer, College Algebra by Blitzer. So if you do decide to purchase the course, you can get an old copy of Blitzer for just a few dollars on a website like bookfinder.com. Just search for like an older edition. You should be able to get one pretty cheaply. Um, so I think it's what you need. I think you need a structured game plan. And so buying a course can give you that game plan. And if you don't buy my course, just buy another one. Get something that gives you something that is structured so that you don't you don't just have the books. You're already doing really well. You're already using like three books. I mean, you're already doing awesome. I think what's gonna happen is this. I think you're gonna take that college algebra class and I think you're gonna do awesome because what that class is gonna give you, it's gonna give you one, an instructor, so you can ask him questions, and two, it's gonna give you structure, so you're gonna know what to study and in what order. And anything you can get from the lectures whether they be remote or face-to-face, -face, doesn't matter what it is, anything is better than nothing, right? Anything you get at this point is better than nothing because you've already got the books, you're already self-studying, so in your situation, you're doing really, really well. And I think once you add some structure to that by either purchasing a course or actually taking um, your college algebra course, I think you're gonna do really good. Yeah, so that's my thoughts. If anyone else has any other opinions or thoughts for Nicolas, and I left his last name out of it, um, please leave a comment. I hope this has been helpful and yeah, good luck and take care.